Let's click on the uh, calculus button and we're under evaluating limits analytically and I believe that's the button I need to be pushing. We got to evaluate the limit. We got the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of x plus 17 minus square root of 17 over x. Let's bring up the whiteboard. Rewriting the problem. Okay, so the first thing we do is do direct substitution, plugging 0 in, and we end up with, I mean, I think everybody can see this real fast. We end up with 0 over 0. So that means we need to do something. Now, in the previous problems, we would factor and cancel out like factors. Well, there's a different technique that we'll be using in this particular problem here. And it's called multiplying by the conjugate. And that's what we're going to, uh, that's what we're going to be doing there. So let me just draw a line divider here and do this problem right over here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of x plus 17 minus the square root of 17 over x. Now, what you're going to do is, is you're going to multiply the top by its conjugate. You're probably like, what the heck is that? x plus 17. Okay, so if this is a minus sign, we want to write a plus sign right here. And then what we do in the numerator, we must also do down here in the denominator. Okay. Extend that line out. All right, so you want to multiply this numerator. We're going to get rid of these radicals up here. And you take, so let's look at this for a second. Um, so the square root times the square root is going to cause the square root to go away. And we're going to be left with, of course, we need to rewrite the limit. Now, you must continue to rewrite this limit. Okay, this is extremely important. So the square root times the square root, right, that's going to go away. And you're going to be left with x plus 17. Because these are essentially the same, except their signs are different, we have a minus and a plus here. What's going to happen when we fool this thing out, all the inside terms are going to disappear. And a little side work up here, like for example, if I had a minus b times a plus b, where, right, this is a, this is b. If you notice, right, a times a is a squared, and then plus a b, and then of course minus b a, and then minus b squared. So what's happening to these guys? They just cancel out. So you're just left with the ends, okay? So all we want to worry about is multiplying this times this and then this number here times this number here. That's it. Don't worry about this inside stuff. So in other words, the square root of x plus 17 times square root of x plus 17 ends up being just x plus 17 and then the square root of the minus square root of 17 plus square root of 17 ends up becoming a minus 17. Okay, it's a negative. It's going to be negative. All right, and then we have the uh, what's down here in the denominator. Let's not forget that. Plus the square root of 17. Okay, so cleaning this up, we've got 17 minus 17, that's going to be 0. We're going to be left with an x on top, but we have an x down here on bottom, so those can cancel out. So we can rewrite this limit as 1 over the square root of x plus 17 plus the square root of 17. 
now we can go through and do our direct substitution for the last time. So we have 1 over 0 plus 17 and plus the square root of 17. And this can be rewritten as 1 over. And this is going to be uh, square root of 17, square root of 17. So that would be 2 square roots of 17. Now a lot of the times they want you to uh, radicalize the denominator. Is that what that's called? Radicalize? <laughs> I've been watching too much news. Um, <laughs> we got a radical down here. Somebody exterminate it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, whatever. Radicalize the denominator. <laughs> Okay, whatever. I'm not sure in the final answer I do this, but uh, this is a little extra. Rationalize, that's what it is. We need to rationalize <laughs> rationalize the denominator. I think that's it. Okay, so we end up with square root of 17 up here in the numerator. And, uh, two time, and the square root of 17 times square root of 17 is just 17. So... Now we're left with that, and of course you need to multiply 2 times the square root of 17, right? 34 down here. Anyway, okay, so that's a little extra probably. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's, I, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, so, hey, I'll tell you what, if you've done any computer programming, had to write us some script to get this to do this. This is a real pain if I remember. Anyway, um... Oh, no, this isn't because you don't have to uh, reduce, but some of these are. But, uh, okay, so there you go. And um, I'm not sure what's going on in the help section. We'll click it anyway. Whoa, doggies. So as you can see, right, that's, and of course, I get down here. Of course, now remember in the help section that uh, I don't always, you know, finish it completely like I do, which you'll see in the actual final answer there. All right, so there it is. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Okay, and remember where we are. See you there. Bye.